Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Delusional's Arcade. So this is going to be a nice and short, sweet uh, video here. I'm actually um, still working on the Miz Pack. I started filming it last week and then I ran into some issues uh, with the board. Um, I had to just kind of rethink everything. Um, so uh, this board, basically, I, I kind of reverted it back to the Pac-Man the way I had it with the speed chip in it. And for some reason, it still does not want to boot up. It has some glitches. Um, so I'm not really sure. I'm kind of questioning this harness. So I actually ordered a part. I ordered the Mike's Arcade um, version. Actually, I got it from Arcade uh, Shop, I believe. And the Arcade Shop version of this um, has a JAMA adapter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this board on my JAMA machine, which I know that the harness is fine on, just to rule out that it's this over here. Because right now I'm kind of chasing stuff where I'm reseeding ROMs and it's still not working right. So um, I also ordered one of these boards. There's a version that um, Arcade Shop has that you can order this whole board. And it's actually just one little chip on there. And same thing with this. It eliminates this board and this bulky thing here. Um, I feel like that'll just kind of bulletproof my board. And of course, I have a cap kit. I'll show that to you in a second. So it's right over here. So this is it. So um, this is actually the other board, the spare board that I had with the cable and everything. And I just went nuts. I basically ordered one of these, one of these, the synthetic ones. I call them synthetic because they're actually a smaller uh, version of the chip. Um, I do have, I actually dug this up. This is the Bob Roberts uh, Ms. Pack cap kit. I ordered two more modern cap kits from Arcade Shop. So we'll see how those go. I mean, again, I have a couple other boards besides these here, so I can always use extras. I'm um, not really too sure. I got to double check the quality on these because I know um, Arcade Shop may use different ones. So I'll wait till I get that. Once those parts come in, I'm probably going to swap these out. Um, it looks like the other one was capped because these, as you can see, you know, they're the silver ones. These are the blue ones. But if I go over here, back to this, you can see like these look more modern than these, than the ones that are in there. You know, they're usually silver and they're not as heavy. They're very light if you actually hold them. So these may have already been swapped out. Not really sure. But I know these are old. Uh, these over here are old as well. So I may go ahead and install a cap kit once I get it on the actual board itself just to ensure that it's fine. And then I did get a new ribbon cable as well just to rule out, you know, that this isn't having any issues. So it was only an extra $12, so I just ordered it. But I ordered another ribbon cable just in case this one's bad. Um, and then I think the RAM I may have on hand and they're easily swapped out if I have any issues, but I think they're fine. I did find a bad um, ROM, so... I tested it in my burner and it turned out that this one was bad. So uh, that's probably why everything was freezing because, you know, you'd play and then after a while, uh, when you get to different levels and the cutscenes, it would say Act 2 when it's in Act 1. It was just acting really funky. So I swapped that out and um, I think that's what the problem was with that. But then, of course, these aren't really, you know, this one isn't the board, but the one in there wasn't working right. So I'm just taking my time instead of going crazy with, with you know, resocketing everything because that's what I probably have to do is to re-socket these chips over here and these over here on the actual board. Um, you know, I can do that. Um, I got one of these, uh, here, I'll show you right here. I got one of these uh, air thingies to help me desocket it a little better. So I'm gonna actually remove the solder on the back with this, with the desoldering gun, the FR300. And then I'm gonna use this to kind of remove it from the front where it melts it and it easily pops out. So this should be a godsend when it comes to socketing chips. So, yeah, so I'll show all that. But uh, this episode, like I said, I was going to release it. And then I said, you know what? Let me stop. I want to, you know, have a full episode where it's proper when I get all the parts. So I decided to order all the parts, put it on hold, and to just, you know, give this update video. Because I do release every video since January of this year, every single Friday at 10 a.m. without fail. So I couldn't fail, you guys. You'll always have an update no matter what, even if it's, um, you know... With no content, just an update, I will update you guys and won't leave you guys hanging. So there it is. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week, hopefully with the uh, repair video where I'm, you know, recapping the board. Um, by the way, I do have um, the cap kit for that. Oh, here it is. So it's the Way Pro Max C1000. So this is the full cap kit on that, including the B+. Um, I may or may not replace that. Hopefully we'll get rid of that humbar. If we can't get rid of the humbar, I can always replace, you know, I have the uh, the fuse blocks, which I can replace, I can put in there, uh, which hopefully will eliminate that grounding issue with the humbar on there on the monitor. 
If this doesn't work, uh, there is plan B, which is putting in a switching power supply. I know it's not original, uh, but I'm not hacking up the original stuff inside and I'm probably gonna have a switching power supply, which will give it a nice clean ground and it will kind of eliminate, people will kind of swear by that saying, yep, it totally eliminated any uh, hum bars and stuff like that. So that's the last resort. I'm gonna try to keep it original by changing out the fuse block and then giving it a nice cap kit, a full cap kit with a B plus. And then with this cap kit for the board that we have in there should be good. And then the parts and everything that I ordered. Uh, and by the way, I'm also doing this. I'm gonna replace these caps right here, which are old, just just because I have them, why not? You know, I have newer ones there. Um, but we're gonna do that in a future episode, but I just wanted to give you a quick update so I don't leave you guys hanging this week. But I decided to kind of just wait a little bit on releasing that other one that I started working on. So I go through a walkthrough through this whole machine and show you exactly what I did in the back and all that stuff. So thanks. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button as you always do. Leave comments below on what you want to see me work on. And uh, if you need help with anything, as always, I'm always willing to answer questions. I'm on Twitter as well. That's at Dell's Arcade on Twitter. And of course, I'm on Instagram as well. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Take care.